we have that first position, okay, of G. But you've got the second position. Okay, and the seventh position. Okay, now we also touched on really knowing the intervals within that. So we have a G major, so you can see that there's your one, your five, your, your octave, and your three. We can flat that, get the flat of the third. We can take that pinky off and get a flatted seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flat it. That's your G minor seven. You know that, okay? Because that's a dominant seven, it's a flat seven. Or your G seven, okay? Major. Not a G major seven, but G seven. Or you can play a G seven like this, playing a one and going here for your flatted seven. And then here for your flat of third, and over here for your five. Okay, now with this song, we also touched on your, your chord voicings here. Your one chord, your two minor, that's your A minor, B minor, your four, that's C, that's D, because those are major, C, D, and E minor. So when you take like a song like this, uh, Who You Say and by Hillsong, uh, just really simple, you can add a little bit of delay here. With a strap, I'll go to that out of phase position sometimes. It's just like a totally different style, like voicing things up high. But again, that's done in rock all the so time in overdubs. When you're playing off that scale, is that the, the seventh position of that scale? Actually, the that's a great question. Yeah. No, it is the third position okay. of G. And I'll, I'll put that on here too. Okay. It starts right here. One, two, three. Okay. So let me turn this delay off. That's annoying. But you have... Your, so this is three, four, five. Just two on that one. Okay. 
Okay? Here's the thing to remember. Like here's, if this is your three, there's only a half step between the three and the four and the seven and the eight. Everything else is a whole step. So if you think about it, it's like, okay, well that, that's cool. So, so it's like three, four, five, six, and then seven, and then here's your eight, your octave, your one. So you know that's got to be a half step, you know? See, if you keep in mind where your tonic is, your root note, then you're like, oh, okay, G. So it's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another G. Isn't that cool? And so one, two, three, four, five. So you start learning those intervals and you're like, oh wow, okay, now I'm seeing those pop up all over the guitar. And again, don't please don't 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 ever just take it like, okay, well, uh, I'm just trying to teach you a, like a worship song or yeah. something. Like that's not the main thing. You can take this into whatever style you want. And you know, triads and all this stuff, that's all taken from other rock music's been around for years and years and years.